Hi, this is Trailers from Hell, and I'm George Hickenlooper, and you are about to see the trailer from a very special film, a film so special it took not one but two studios to make it for a grand budget of $17 million. Now, this is $1973, $74, and the movie is none other than Irwin Allen's The Towering Inferno, and here it is. Steve McQueen and Paul Newman race against time as one tiny spark becomes a night of blazing suspense. Wow, the towering inferno. Now, now this is a picture I haven't seen in about 30 years. But when I first saw it in 1974, it, it, it was very meaningful to me. I had seen a picture called The Last Voyage in 1970 on TV. Um, I was five years old. and. And, um, and shortly after that, the Poseidon Adventure came out and I became obsessed with disaster movies, particularly maritime disaster movies. And then Irwin Allen announced he was making The Towering Inferno. Remember they had a TV special on one of the networks about how it was taking two studios to make this picture for an enormous budget of $17 million, which at the time I think was one of the most expensive films of all time. This is predates Heaven's Gate by about six, six seven years. And I went to see this picture when it opened on opening day. I rode my bicycle to the Guild Theater in Menlo Park, California, and I was so stunned by it that I sat through it twice. And I remember I got when I got home, my mother, I was sent to my room and I couldn't have dinner. It was a very vivid memory, and I just I would go to this movie like every day after school, shell out two dollars and fifty cents to see it. And I was just blown away. I, I was also really obsessed with Steve McQueen, who I'd seen in The Blob, and Paul Newman wasn't on my, you know, eight-year-old radar. It had William Holden in it, and and I, I remember just the, the special effects at that time were just so beyond anything I'd, I'd seen in a disaster movie, and even better than The Poseidon Adventure. I loved, you know, the Richard Chamberlain antagonist, and... And, uh, and, and the Robert Wagner side love story where the, the woman with the flaming pantyhose jumps out of the, you know, of the 101st floor and, and then when they blow up the giant water tanks to save everyone. Um, and then, of course, I hadn't thought of this movie for years, years later, and it took on a whole new meeting for, for me on, during 9-11. Um, and I was like, oh, wow, you know, wow, this is uh, it was pretty heavy stuff. The Towering Inferno. 